Hi guys, Rasha here and welcome to Tiny Bookshop, the demo. I have had this game on my wishlist, um, I think since they announced it, um, and they recently released a demo, so I'm very excited to play it. Uh, so in this game, we leave everything behind and we open a tiny bookshop by the sea. It is a cozy narrative management game. We have to stock our tiny bookshop with different books, items, we have to set up shop in scenic locations and run our cozy secondhand bookshop while getting to know the locals. And I'm so <laughs> This would honestly be a dream of mine. I. I believe some point in my life I will reach an age where I will take all of the books that I own, just the ones that I've read through my life because I have a hoarding problem and I don't like um, letting go of things. I do donate a lot of the books that I get, but usually it's because I get a better quality version of that said book and then I'm like, oh, I don't need the old versions anymore, so I donate them, <laughs> which is not healthy or productive. Go to libraries, kids. Um... But I hope one day that I will just take my entire collection and start my own tiny bookshop and just go around and hand them out to people who love and respect books. That is literally a dream. It's fine. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's have a look at the settings really quick. I want to have a look. Ooh, okay. What languages do... Oh, they've got Dutch. So they've got English, Espanol, Francais, French, Dutch, Dutch. Uh, and English. We can skip the tutorial, we can pause game when not in focus, and we can hide effect percentages for vibes. I like that. That is a nice uh, option. All right, so we've got window displays, awesome. Audio displays. Ooh, so you can change the world sounds and ambience. Didn't know they were different, but sure. Um, ambient occlusion. Wow, there's a lot of options in this game. Ooh, and you can change the colors of the. <gasps> that is awesome! My friend has this thing where she associates colors with certain things, like with numbers, certain numbers are colors. And I really like, I know things like this bother her so much when, like it just bothers her when she sees like a number that she associates with a color and it's not that color. So having this option specifically is really cool. And even if you just want to like fantasy to me, yeah, I, I agree fantasy would be purple. Um, oh, I just love this. This is such a cool addition. Ah! Oh! Good job, devs. Love this. Love this choice. Specifically know that my friend will love this very much. Um, there's game pad compatibility, but I'm obviously on PC and I'm going to be using my mouse and my keyboard because I'm clicky like that. Um, let's just start game. <gasps> Today is the day. I've packed up my things. leaving everything else behind for a quiet life by the sea. I love that the writing is like in the background too, like it, it gets covered by the foreground. That's nice too. This game is beautiful. Tiny bookshop, yay! Eee. Hands up if you live in a tiny bookshop! <laughs> Waterfront Square, Monday, summer 1st. Look at the little car that could Okay, so opening the windows and the door. Ooh! And then I have, these are the current books that I have in stock. Awesome. And I have 49 gold minis in my pocket. Check it out, fam. I believe that you can, oh, Tilda. My, my, what a sight. You must be the new bookseller. I've heard so much about you. What, how? Oh, don't worry. I have my sources. Anyways, welcome to our quaint little town. I'm glad you've decided to stop by. I thought you might need someone to show you the ropes around here. I'm Tilda. I used to run the local bookstore here before my retirement. Lovely to meet you. Let's see. You should know that us Bookstonians have very particular taste in books. I, for example, prefer to read classic and crime novels and not much else. So why don't I have a look at your selection and see if I can find something worthwhile? Okay. Well, I have crime and I have classic, so you should find something. Oh, bravo, you had the right book on hand. Oh, bravo, you had the right book on hand. When a customer finds a book, they will keep looking for more. Okay, I've also got some classics. Would you like to try some classics? Oh, you don't. Okay, I'm sorry. Sadly, I, we did not have the right book on offer. Even though we may have books of the right genre, whether people actually take one home depends on your sale chance. 
You can check your sale chance at any time by hovering over the genres on the right. Yeah, I did that before. So crime has 26%. Fact books are pretty good. The sale chance shows the odds that someone might find a book they like. Because the chance is based on how many books you have in your shop, it will decrease as you run out of books throughout the day. Managing to sell that last book of a genre is the mark of a great bookseller. Mm. Kids books sell pretty well. Travel books sell pretty well. Fantasy for me sell great. So do drama. Oh, hi. Bye, Tilda. It was lovely to meet you. Ooh, wonder what you want. She was jogging, maybe. Oh, fact book. Hell yeah. Ooh, Jeanette Walls has been in the news. Okay. And she bought a travel book. How did I know? I didn't even see an homage to Catalonia. We got another fact book sale. Oh, it's the same lady. You're in there twice. I didn't know you had a twin. This person's buying a shit ton of books. Couldn't be me. Oh, okay. Well, we made a lot of money. Damn. Books are lucrative. Edith Wharton. Edith Wharton. Oh, Fern. Um, hi there. You're the bookseller, right? I see you already talked to Tilda. Did she mention her mysterious sources to you too? Huh. Yeah, she does that. Told me all about the review before I even had... Told me all about the review before I had even started my job there. Oh, um, I'm talking about the book Stonbury Review. It's the local paper. Yeah, I sort of write for them. My name's Fern Estrada. Glad to meet you. Your arrival is kind of the only interesting thing that's happened here in a while, so you'll have to excuse my nosiness, but it's sort of my job to write about you now. Um, how about you help me out by answering a few of my questions, and I'll give you a free subscription in return. You might appreciate the events calendar, and people often sell used books in the classifieds. Right, so, um, for the record, what made you come to Bookstonbury? I wanted an adventure. Oh, wow, I kind of feel the same way. I hope it works out for you. Okay, and what's your first impression of the town so far? Friendly, I think. Don't worry, it really is. People might be a bit meddlesome, but they only have the best intentions. Thanks so much for the little interview. I really appreciate it. And I promise you'll have your first copy of the review by tomorrow morning. I'll have a look at your selection now, if you don't mind. Um, see you around? Bye! Okay, Fern. While in the shop, he gives us a plus 5% to fact sale chance. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah, take it easy going down the uh, steps. You don't want to fall and break a hip. Trust me. I don't know why I said that as if I've broken a hip. I do have a lot of hip pain, though. To the point where I've been told I should get a hip replacement. I'm like, I'm not... Why? I feel like that's something that I can worry about when I'm older. <laughs> Still being in my fucking 20s getting a hip replacement. All right, uh, right, let's close everything. And drive off. My car is amazing. Books and Brie Review. Filled with articles, events, and items for sale. Thanks, Fern. Oh, cool. The Books and Review reports on the goings on around town. You can check today and tomorrow's weather. So it's going to be sunny. Keep an eye out for upcoming events. Events. Today. Here you can see the money in your pocket and all the books you own, both in your shop and in storage. Looks like they're running low. In the classified section, you can acquire used books to replenish your stocks. Let's give it a try. Just click to buy. Okay, we'll get a mysterious attic box. Oh, those should come in handy. Maintaining a good stock of books is an important part of any book selling venture. Cool. The classified section will sometimes have other bits and bobs. Let's pick up this lonely cactus. Oh, it's a bit prickly, but has a heart of gold. While equipped, it gives us a plus 2% to travel sale chance. That's awesome. And we close the newspaper by toggling it off in the item bar. Let's give this lonely cactus a new home. This is your item bar. From here, you can open the newspaper and customize your bookshop, amongst other things. <gasps> this is your inventory. Click and drag to place it in your bookstore. My bookshop. There we go. Nice, you got a boost. Some items can increase your sale chance for certain genres or change the effectiveness of an other items. Watch out though, sometimes this comes at the expense of another genre. Equipping some items will also increase your daily expenses, so keep that in mind. Hover over an item to check out what it does. Okay. Yeah, to remove an item, simply right click on it. Okay, you can decorate inside or outside your shop. Just click here. Whoa, let's place something inside. I guess I'll put my cactus here and i can paint my bookshop these are your paints oh oh actually i really like this i can paint the little pot 
Once you have sat once I've satisfied your inner interior decorator, click here to save and return. Ooh, book sign. A sign that says books. Folding table. Guess book. Gimme. 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 I want a sign. A sign that says books. What does that do? Ooh, it gives a plus 50 percent to hanging effects okay so if i had another hanging effect okay uh interior on a table oh the table can be outside that's so cute yes can i have a mint table yeah aesthetically pleasing thank you i, I can't want my bookcase to be white i don't think i want that there oh no i do can i put that on the table actually like is that a thing that you can do sorry inside no, it just replaces it. I wish I could put that on the table. That would be cool. But anyway, and then we got a guest book. Let's have that. I kind of think it should be there and then the pot should be on the windowsill. You can't recolor that one. I want my pot on my windowsill. There we go. <laughs> Little plant pot. Sweet. Can I change the color of the roof? <gasps> oh my god oh my god i like that um book is gray is nice i kind of like the way it looks okay and let's go back did i save it i didn't save it did i welcome to bookston each day you can pick a look bookstonberry each day you can pick a location to visit on the map going to location has a travel cost which is based on your daily expenses as well as parking fees for the location you'll unlock more locations as you go for now let's pick the waterfront scare square again S waterfront scare <gasps> these are the books in your storage select a genre by clicking on it to start stocking your shelves click to place the selected genre into your shelf click and drag multiple books okay oh oh Nice. This book is now in your shop. Stocking more books of a genre increases the odds of people finding a book they will like within that genre. Check the sale chance by hovering over the books on the right. 43% today. You can remove books from your shelf with a click. Also, you can organize how much you want in there. Let's fill up the shelves. Oh, this is gonna be satisfying. Okay. Well, we've got classic. We got so many drama books. Let's put a bunch up here too. Um, and then, oh, I don't know why I did that. Lots of travel and fact books down here. We've got fantasy. Oh, we put some more fantasy up here. We got a lot of kids though. Like I don't know. That's so satisfying. Let's just have like this area up here as a like extra so it can be like one of each. Oh, that's satisfying. Your shelves are ready. Let's go set up shop or keep adjusting your selection. Let's go set up shop and hope that I saved what my... I did. Okay, thank God. Whew. Did you notice you can look around a location? Click and drag to move your view. I didn't notice. You can interact with things by clicking on them. Let's pick up this buoy. Or this boy. Oh, so you can find stuff around the world too? Wow, I, that's really cool. It's a hanging. And I get a bonus to hanging chance. So I need to put that. Whoa. I need to put that on when I get the chance. All right, let's open up. Oh, look how cute. I love my little table. Table's bog. You can also buy books and items while out and about, but then they'll be put into your, but they will be put into your storage where you can access them on the next day. Okay, there's no events, but on Saturday, there's a bi-weekly flea market. There's a cooler. I don't want to spend that much money. Bookstonbury newcomer turns new page, impresses locals with mobile bookshop. Have you ever dreamt of going on an adventure and starting a humble business abroad? That's precisely what this tiny bookshop operator has done, choosing our very own Bookstonbury as their latest destination. When asked about their first impression, the fresh-faced bookseller finds Bookstonbury to be very friendly. Find out more about this new and exciting shop by visiting the waterfront tomorrow. Thanks, Fern. Uh, okay. It's very early in the morning. I doubt anyone would be up. It's just nice today. Hi, bird. Can I open this door? I want to steal more things. Oh, some first cus a customer. Doggy! Ah! <laughs> Think about the doggy. Gives me hearts. 
That's all I wanted and all I needed out of life. Hi. What kind of books are you into? Oh, fact books? Yeah. Abridgment of Murray's English Grammar. What a perfect gift. Uh, for someone who likes grammar, I hope. There was no tribal books that she wanted. Alas, another day. Hi, welcome to my bookstore. Oh, Tilda! Ah, there you are. I wanted to commend you on how much you've been livening up this place. I'm sure you'll want to branch out to other places in town now. My friend Mary owns a very successful cafe in the town centre. If I call her up and get her to give you a parking space, you could get quite a few visitors. Oh, cool. Yes, I know, dear. You can always trust me on these sorts of things. It's decided then. Meet me out by the Cafe Liberté as soon as you can. Cool. Go to the cafe and speak to Tilda. New challenge. Oh, and while we're on the topic of showing your face, I heard our dear Walter was quite impressed with your wagon. He's one of the local fishers. Why don't you go over there and introduce yourself? He should be back from his recent catch just now. Oh, introduce yourself to Walt the Sailor. You might want to write this down, love. Having an organized diary will come in handy in our business. You know what? I still have quite a few unsold journals left over from my old shop. So here, why don't you take this one? Ah, thank you, Tilda. There you go. I hope you make good use of it. Goodbye. I got a journal. Open it at any time to check on my progress. Here you can track which genres you have sold the most of, useful for adjusting your selection. This is the total number of books you sold here. Let's see if you can beat Tilda's record. Check back here for hints and events as you discover more. Looks like this page holds little postage stamps to mark your moments in Buxtonbury. You'll collect these stamps as you are making contributions around town. You can also see your progress towards the stamps, as well as hints and extra info. Hover over the stamp for more information. So I've got to introduce myself to the Walt. And then this is the other location that I have unlocked. Okay. Mm. They're finding stuff that he... He's... Oh, there he is! Hi! Ahoy there, kiddo. How's it going? Okay, I made the acquaintance. Looks like you got a good sturdy vessel there. I've got some old items lying around which I thought you might like. See if any of it is to your liking. Ooh, well, I already got a boy. I don't know if I want a fresh, a raw fish. Oh, this is cute though. I kind of want it. Yay! I can put it on my wall. That's all. Thank you, Walt. My friends tell me you've got some decent cargo on board too. They've been specially enjoying your travel and classic novels. Guess I have to be careful or I might be outsold by a... <laughs> Why don't we make a bet? If you can make 20 sales to my buddies, I'll admit defeat. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to a little competition, kiddo. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry there was no luck for you. Fern! Ah, uh, hey, what are you doing here? Our weather correspondent at the paper said that today will be the hottest day of the year. So I assumed you'd be at the beach like everyone else. Oh, I'm so sorry. I already forgot that you're new. You just seem to fit in so easily. I... So sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, here, I'll show you how to get to Far Beach in case you want to drop by there soon. Ooh, we've got to visit the beach. I'm not really a beach person myself, but I'm sure the crowd there will need some of your reading material. I'm sure they will. And as we all know, Roshi's Riveting Reads likes to go on the road. Okay, let's just ignore that I just said that and continue on with the game. Selling a lot of books. Discovering the greater books and area, I think that's what that said. Hi, welcome in. A lot of people wearing blue shirts. This is a very blue town. Da ba dee da ba die. Uh, not a classic fan, are you? That's unfortunate. Our chance of selling that has gone down. Um, specifically travel. We need more travel books. Seems like those are a hit in this town. Everybody wants to leave. <laughs> Introduce the lawyer. So I got five out of 20. All right, time to pack up for the day. That was a lucrative day, I guess. All right, school manual, suitable for age 13. No, it looks like some items have been, have been discounted a little bit. Now might be a good time to buy them, although you could wait longer. No, I think I kind of want to get... Oh, and risk someone else buying them first. Items in the seasonal section have a much slower turnover, so there's no need to hurry, but be sure to snatch them up before the season ends. Yeah, because we're in summer. Tomorrow's going to rain. Uh, I kind of want to get the romance books. Ah, oh, yes, replenished my classics. I can't afford anything else. Um, I don't want to go to the beach, but there's a lot of energetic kids there, apparently. Can I not check? Oh, that's... Uh, this is Fine Walt to buy his latest catch. Uh, owned by Tilda's friend. They like travel and fact there, though. 
Uh, maybe we'll go to the cafe today. After I decorate my beautiful little place. Um, I want to put this somewhere. A hanging, because this will give it a bonus. So maybe I could put it over on this side. Noise. And then this can go on the wall wherever I want. Oh! Maybe there. It can also go inside. Maybe I should put it inside. Yes! Can I change the color of it? I kind of want it to be blue. No, I can't. Of course I can't because it's, you know, made for um ocean. I can change this though. Did I even change anything? I don't feel like I did. What if I make it pink? I don't know what I'm changing. That's okay. Let's um, go to the cafe. Oh, it'll cost nine. Let's do it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. All right, we've got so many drama books. I didn't mean to do that. That's my classics area. How dare you? All right. Um, we're running really low on travel books. We've got so many classics. I'm going to put some classics everywhere just because I think we need to get rid of some. That and some drama. Not enough fantasy books. Too many drama books. Um, that should do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what they like at the Café Liberty. Wednesday, summer third. Ooh, noise. This looks really serene. I would love to um come here one day. I'm going to click on all the flowers so I can steal them. <laughs> Give me the flowers. All right, open up. Meet Tilda at the cafe. Yeah, hey Tilda, where are you? Hey! Can I steal stuff? Give me your serenity. Oh, I can touch this though. Wah! And there's another little pigeon. Hmm. Hi, there you are. It seems like Mary M has her hands full with the cafe again, but she told me to give you her best. Hmm. Now, I have something you might help me with. I've been cleaning up my old shop for months now, selling the small pieces on the flea market. This Saturday, I'm trying to move the more bulky items to the market. Help an old bookseller out, will you? They'd fit well into that little wagon of yours. Just pick them up and bring them with you to the market on Saturday. I'll owe you, and I'll make sure there will be loads and loads of customers in it for you. Okay. Check by Tilda's old bookshop and pick up all the moving boxes outside. Okay, well, where's our old bookshop? Here? Okay. I collected a stamp. Till this stuff, I'm encumbered. Okay, I have to have it equipped when I visit the flea market on Saturday. Okay. She is buying books for me though, which is cool. Please buy more, Tilda. Loving the classics. Oh, what a good find. We've got somebody into drama. I think that's like the f one of the first drama books we sold. Classics are on today. Sometimes people will ask for help if they can't find what they're looking for. Click the bubble to help them. They won't wait forever. Oh, what? oh. you need your help. Uh, listen closely to people's requests and try to pick up on what kind of book they're looking for. This game is so more involved. I love this. Hello, dear. What have you got today? I'm looking for a piece of real literature. I like scary stuff. Uh, okay. People also leave a lot of their likes and dislikes unsaid, so make sure to put yourself in their shoes. Now look for a book that might pique their interest. I, I did. Here you can see important info about the book, including a short description. Do you think this one is a good match? She likes scary stuff. Mm. Dracula. Yeah. I do. She likes scary stuff and she wants it to be real literature. And there's nothing more real than a vampire. Once you've found the match, try recommending it to them. Here you go. You want to read Dracula? Yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong with a classic like Dracula. Great. You might have just found someone's favorite book. They'll keep buy this one and keep shopping. Glad you like it. That's an awesome feature. I, out of full transparency, I didn't watch too many videos or read too much up on this game. I wanted to go in completely, like, blind just so I could experience it for the first time in it. So I'm really enjoying some of these features that feature there specifically is very that tickles a part of my brain makes me enjoy it oh someone needs help 
I finally have time to read. I like coming of age stories. I'd like a fixture of literature. And also I'm looking for some new cooking tips. Well, okay. Um, you want cooking tips? Shit. The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe doesn't really have um, any cooking tips in it. Hmm. Coming of age. I don't think I really have anything that helps this. Oh, frankly, right. That'd be nice to read about. I mean, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe is always a good read. I don't think I have anything for you. You like coming of age stories? Well, that's a mystery. This is kind of a classic coming of age story. That's not really a coming of age story. The Fall and Out. Um, maybe I could give her that, him that. It's kind of sad. <laughs> ah, Sense and Sensibility. I just finished reading this this year. I love this book. And Wuthering Heights is on my bookcase waiting to be read. Uh, as is the picture of Dorian Gray. I have a lot of these books. I don't have anything. I'm sorry. I probably do, but did not look, looks like you did not manage to find something for this person. For now, they're done shopping, but maybe they'll come back another time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have anything. I'll find something, though, that you like, and I'll try and come back. All right. Oh, you need something for an essay. I don't mind a dull book, and I'd love to read something classic. I can't get enough of The Soul of Men Under Socialism. It's for my next paper. Okay. Um, You like classics? Oh, yeah, poems. Um, mm. So she wants something classic. I actually don't know what the soul of man on the socialism is. Um, I haven't heard of it. I think it's, it's definitely a old. Uh, I kind of want to give her poems. She likes essays, but that might not be something that she's into. Um, mm, get ready to enter. No, you don't want to read about, oh, God, HTML 1998. Jesus. Oh, this is about philosophy. I wouldn't mind. Unveiling the hidden beauty in bricks and beams. Uh, discover the world of knowledge and adventure in this thrilling third volume of Encyclopedia Bookstonia. Knitting instructions. I'm going to... She doesn't mind a dull book, so I'm going to give her an encyclopedia. Let's go. Oh, she liked it. Oh, wow, it's a bit dull, but I don't mind. Hell yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy your factual books about philosophy and true crime. Because it's Peter T. Anybody else we can help with? Don't forget to get a coffee on your way out. Her coffee around here is real good. What else do we need to do? So yeah, it's... What day is it? Wednesday? Got to wait to Saturday. Um, I kind of want to go back to the... The waterfront. But I also want to check out the beach. So maybe we'll go to the beach tomorrow if we can afford it. We made 48 monies today. That's pretty good haul. I love 48 monies. Oh, no. Damn it. I was really looking forward to going to that beach. Damn it. Thank you for playing our demo. We hope you enjoyed your stay in Buxtonbury. I enjoyed it so much. You can support us by wishlisting us on Steam and joining our Discord. See you there. I'm going to go check that out. I actually loved this game. This game is so up my alley. It is so cozy and comfy. I love the additional like things that you can do like getting to just design and pick things that I can put in my bookshop is perfect for those who love interior design you know scratch that little itch you've got um and then also the fact that you can go in and organize your actual bookshelf and have it color-coded if you want or chaotic if that's your prerogative and then on top of that during your daytime shift you can recommend books to people literally perfect so far for me there's also the added element of story. Like, you're in this wonderful town. You've got to go chat with locals, meet them. Um, yeah, I'm finding things... Like, it's hard for me finding things at the moment that I didn't like about this game. So I'm very excited to play it. Uh, unfortunately, I will go check out their Discord and I will link it below. Um, but from their Steam page, it still says that the game is to be announced. Um, so the release date, like the release date is to be announced, uh, TBD, to be determined in the future sometime, not decided on. So, um, yeah, if you really want to go and check out this game, go try out the demo on Steam. Maybe you can go to that beach that I never got to visit and, you know, 
sell some books to some kids because <laughs> apparently it's full of energetic kids. Uh, and yeah, go have fun. That's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you get to go play many, many games and have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.